Hi, and welcome back to Bill's Cichlid Room. Well, now we've got all the nonsense of the flood out the way and the cleared up, we can actually get back to making content on actual fish. <laughs> so today I thought we'd have a look at a species that I did get a couple of months ago from the BCA convention the beginning of September. It's the Amatelania kenna. But these are the fish that we're going to have a look at today. So it's the Amatelania kenna. So as you can see, the, they are closely related to the Nigo fasciatus, the, uh, the convict cichlid. But back in 2007, Smith Soto actually has classified them as a species in their own right. So it's Amatelania kenna, K-A-N-N-A. Excuse the cutter eye in there <laughs> and the Nicky Like here here is the, the Kenna that we're looking at. So they actually come from uh, the Atlantic slope of Panama, but the area that they're found in does cross over with the Nigo fasciatus. So they are very similar. Um, reading in a bit more depth on the classification, it actually comes down to the number of scales round the um, round the anal, and it's the shape of the jaw. So it's not something that you can actually just take a look at and say, "Oh, they're Kenna, or they're Convex, or they're Sequoia, even, um, or the other one is the Copete." And um, so there's four species. And that's not including the Hon Jordan Red Point, which still isn't classified. So yeah, they are all similar. Um, I mean, these ones, the, the group that I got, they seem quite easy to sex. Obviously, that one's a female there. You can see with the, the coloration in its fins. Uh, and the male doesn't have the coloration and is a slightly bigger size. Uh, I've never kept these before and I don't really have that much information on them but from what i can tell and what i've gathered they don't get as big as the convict cichlids and they're not as aggressive and when they do actually breed they have small eggs and the brood that they have isn't as big so like that that's yet to be seen but yeah i mean they are a really pretty fish i mean i've always been a fan of the convict to be a, to be honest i know a lot of people look down on them as beginner fish but you know a fish is a fish <laughs> yeah so i've not looked into like the number of stripes or anything like that or the bars on them like forming a y just before the head or anything like that i've i've not looked that much in depth on them but yeah, they are really pretty fish. So I've still got them all together in a group at the moment. I have promised Paul Needham uh, Fish Northwest there uh, a couple of pairs of these. Um, and the rest of them, yeah, I'll try and like get paired off and breed them myself. But yeah, it's when you've got species like this that are so closely related to others, it is really important to keep them separate. Because the last thing we want in a hobby is like a hybrid of the Kenner and the and the convict cichlid. So yeah, I know Paul will uh, will keep them separate and like not let them mix. So yeah, I was quite surprised actually when I got them at the BCA auction that uh, like the, there wasn't really much interest in them. Um. I mean, as you may know, I actually did the talk and I actually mentioned these in the talk and was quite surprised when a guy called Chris said, uh, I've actually got some of these in the auction. <laughs> so yeah, I was sort of obliged to buy them really. But yeah, them, this female coloration in it, yeah, she, she looks like she's in condition to start spawning. But as I say, I've got them all in the one tank at the moment. So I'm going to have to thin them out and actually get a pair in a smaller tank or a different tank and actually get them breathing properly. So I mentioned the, uh, the, the Sequoia before, the Amatelania Sequoia. So I did actually get a pair of those from the BCA auction. So let's have a quick look at those and see whether we can see any differences. 
Yeah, so where's the sequoia? Uh, they're being a bit shy at the moment. And it's the male sajaka in there as well. So I've got to move him out of there, there one of these days. But yeah, th this is the sequoia. So I don't know, can you see any differences? The shape of the body is different, but that might just be uh, due to age. It's worth mentioning that uh, after the revision in 2007 when these were actually given the, like the, their own name there has been a debate uh, most recently in uh, 2021 to say that these are actually uh, synonymous with the convict cichlid and they, the Kopeke as well. Yeah, the, I think what it is, the, the differences aren't as great as they are with the Kenna. So the Kenna is still like a different species and um, with these it's debatable. So you have the female hiding behind the filter. But yeah they're really pretty fish these and uh, the finnage on the male. Yeah, it's got flowing fins on the dorsal and the anal fin. female's not going to come out but she's gone a lot darker in colour so she might be ready to breed as well it's probably this male so Jake is stopping her so this is an empty tank I've got at the moment I just need to put a little bit more decoration in there and a heater <laughs> um, although yeah the temperature is 77 so yeah it's not too bad um, but yeah, I can put a pair of the, the Kenna in there and hopefully they will breed for me. So yeah, back to the Kenna. Can you see a difference? Coloration is almost exactly the same. Yeah, the females have got a lot more colour in them than the males. Yeah, there's blues and golds, yellows. Thanks for watching and I hope you agree with me it's with all the reclassifications of all the fish although the, the one on the, the group that we've been talking about today did happen back in 2007 but it does make it really complicated particularly when you buy fish and you're not quite sure like what they are like my good friend Paul Needham uh, from Fish Northwest and um, he actually got some cichlids from the Northwest Cichlid Group auction uh, at the beginning of November and the seller had actually put them down as Sequoia Hon Jordan Red Points which is actually two completely different species and he's not sure what he's actually got so yeah it, it is really really complicated so the only advice I can give you really is if you buy them from a reputable dealer or a reputable breeder and try and do what I did and try and make sure that they are the fish that you've been sold them as um, and the best way of doing that at the moment it's the catch location so anyway I hope you enjoyed watching the video and I'll see you all in the next one soon